Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be looking at another Chat GPT video. Uh, this one's going to have to do with personalities. Yes, you can actually give your bot a personality. Uh, you'll see some examples. I also have a cool extension that kind of helps with that a little bit, uh, with saving certain personalities, some that have been pre done, that kind of thing. Uh, if you don't notice uh, throughout this video, my lighting is a little bit weird today because it's really dark outside it's stormy and it's really throwing off the light so i might look like a ghost at certain points during this video but you're here to look at what i'm showing you not me unless you want to look at me not much to look at but yeah uh so <clears throat> here we are on chat chat gpt uh, I'm already logged in. If you haven't seen my first video, definitely check that out. It's, you know, just a basic intro on, you know, stuff. And then I'm going to do at least a few videos on ChatGPT. I don't plan to go too in-depth, but just introducing it, showing you some stuff it can do and whatnot. Uh, but we are not going to dive too deep. I'm not going to do, like, a whole series or anything on that. Uh, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's start by just saying, like... Um, how to start a company. So something real simple, we're going to say, uh, go ahead. That's all we're going to ask it. So let's see what it spits out. So it's just giving us basic steps here. You know, define your business plan. Um, write a business plan. Choose a, you know, basically your everyday average step-by-step -step kind of thing. Um, so now let's take it a step farther. And let's say... How to start a company uh, as a financial advisor. And I'm pretty sure I spelled financial wrong. I did. Finance advisor, whatever. Uh, so how to start a company as a finance advisor. So not you just your average Joe. Like, I want you to pretend, I want to chat bot to think it's you know an advisor specifically with finance so we're going to press enter and it says you know it, it acknowledged starting a financial advisor company so here it is it's you know tell me attain you know certain licenses certifications and it even gives me an example of something called such as a series 65 or series 7 whatever that means um, but yeah, it's, you know, build a network of clients. So it definitely gave me a much different answer. And just out of curious, let's do something. Um, how to start a company as a convict. If you don't notice, I'm really bad at spelling. How to start a company as a convict. Why not? Maybe you're fresh out of, you know, killing someone or something. You need to start a company. Ah, there we go. Actually, it's giving you a pretty good answer. It's, you know, starting a company as a convict may be challenging due to restrictions on employment and business ownership imposed by the criminal justice system. Okay, I wasn't sure what kind of answer it was going to give me. Now, another one I had tested out is how to start a company as a kid. And it pretty much gave me the exact same answer as just saying how to start a company, which I guess makes sense. I mean, technically you're supposed to start, you know, the same, you follow the same laws as an adult would technically you're supposed to. But, but yeah, this is cool. You know, it really actually, you know, said that, hey, it can be business. But then it said, hey, you know, even, you know, maybe get a lawyer, you know, to make sure you're allowed to do this, what. You know, maybe you could be safe on, hey, yes, I am a convict, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because of that, you know, I'm allowed to do this, but I can't do this or that, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the next thing I want to show you all is a cool little thing here. It's an extension, which will obviously be in the description below. And that right here is just a, you know, Google Chrome extension. It's called Jet Chat GPT Personality Selector. So, like I said, in the description below, you this one's actually, as filming this, oh, there goes my little weird ghost effect. Uh, gotta fix my lighting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're gonna, this is actually, like, brand spanking new uh, from when I actually, 
you know, tested this out and, and filming this video. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely probably give these people support and reviews to help them better it. You know, like I said, it's pretty new, so it might have some problems. I'm sure it's going to expand. So right here, you're going to click install. I already have, so I have that removed from Chrome button. So obviously I'm already good. It's going to be up here in the top corner. Uh, this you don't really need to pay attention to. You can't really do anything. Clicking here just takes you back to this page. Uh, so there's not much to do here. I'm going to unpin it just because it's. I don't need it up here on the main bar because there's no purpose in it. Let's get away from that ghost effect there, or at least a little better of a ghost effect. Um, so now you might have to reload ChatGPT. And uh, yeah, here we go. So now I got this pop-up. Now you can sit here and say show at startup. If you want to have this pop up every time, if not, and you close it, it's right down here where it says personality. So you'll have a new little setting in the menu where you can click that and get it right back. So it's really about what you want. So uh, as of right now, it's only supported in two languages. That's English and French. Uh, category. Um, you can choose a category. So if you want to say, you know, I'm a teaching channel, um, you know, I can say teach me. And personality is Teach Me Python. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's auto hotkeys on here at the moment. Uh, just some of the more popular ones. But yeah, Teach Me in Python. So this would be useful for you all who are coders. Um, you know, they got Excel, um, history, coding history, social networks, stuff like that. Um, you know, they even have some fun ones like historical personalities like Abraham Lincoln, you know, Albert Einstein. Uh, you know, I haven't gone through all these uh, helpers. Oh, here we go. Computing advisor, English travel guides, all that. So this is really cool. They have a lot of little fun, funny learning. What's funny learning? Albert Einstein. Tony Stark teaches technology. There we go. I like that one. <laughs> but yeah, you can just, you know, say, um, or shells. Oh, okay. Bash. That's what I thought. Uh, Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, there's a there's a whole bunch. So there there's tons in here. I'm sure they're going to be adding more as time goes on. So just you know teach that. So let's go with teach Python. Uh, voice is just whatever you have built into your computer. Uh, so as you see, I just have the very basic Windows 10 voices. You can always add some. There's a lot of websites out there with ones you can download. Uh, auto read. That just means when I push enter and it starts typing out the answer, it'll actually start reading it to me. Um, you know, we'll we'll put that in. Let's let's actually switch it and see how well it does. If it sounds the same with each person, so. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, historical figures, personalities. Let's do that. Let's do Aber or Al Albert Einstein, and we're gonna say apply personality. And right here, it is gonna basically just tell you like, hey, I'm now Albert Einstein. And it gives a little of who I am. You know, I'm a theoretical physics physician, if I'm known for theory and general relativity, yada, yada, yada. So. Oh, there we go. I am a theoretical physicist known for my theory of general relativity and contribution to the development. So as you see, it does the auto read. It's obviously just going to do whatever the default is on your computer system. So that very robotic sounding voice, uh, unfortunately. Um, now, the personalities aren't very tuned, um, but like I said, you can create your own. You can create your own personalities or use these built in ones. All right, I uh, hope you guys had some fun. I definitely could see this, you know, useful in a few different ways, uh, especially when it comes to asking for, you know, advice. You know, pretend you're this kind of person. You know, I'm an HR person. I need you to write an email as if you were in the HR department versus being in the technology department. It could be very different. So that's something that could help you guys in just really fine tuning what you need based on, you know, who you are, what your job is. And as always hit that like button, lets me know you like these kind of videos so I can continue doing that certain type of video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm always throwing one, two videos out every single week having to do with automation. And I'll see you all on the next one.